Welcome back to our channel. We're Jamie and Skylar, and recently we spent six days at the Bahia Principe Luxury Ambar in Punakana. In our first three videos, we took you on the ultimate tour of the resort, showed you how to make the most of your day at the Ambar, and showed you where to get some of the best food and drinks on this amazing resort. But this fourth and final episode is all about us. Well, not really, but we are going to give you our honest opinions on all of the things we loved and a few of the things we didn't that you may find helpful when planning your trip to the Bahia Principe Luxury Ambar. Hey guys, before we get this started, we do have to mention that we got a great deal on our stay at the Ambar. And because we got such a great deal, and also because COVID's still affecting supply chains and travel, we do understand that our experience at the Ambar doesn't necessarily represent the typical experience at the resort prior to COVID. That is true. We do hope things get back to normal soon. But for now, let's get this video started with some of our likes. One of the things that I enjoyed most about our stay at the Bahia Ambar was just how beautiful the property was, especially the beach. The beach was meticulously maintained and the tiki huts, palm trees, and boardwalk paths are all perfectly placed throughout the beach and really add to the beauty. I agree, and we had read several reviews on this property and watched a few YouTube videos, but you really can't truly appreciate the beauty of this property until you see it in person. The pictures and video really don't do it justice. And while we did read some negative reviews online about the seaweed on the beach, it really wasn't a problem when we were there. Yeah, there definitely was some seaweed on the beach early in the morning, but the beach cleaners did a really great job of picking it up each morning, leaving us with a pristine beach to enjoy for the rest of the day. Another thing that I really enjoyed about this beach was the fact that it had a few handicap accessible tiki huts. That was great because we saw a few different people in wheelchairs out enjoying the beach. One other thing I really loved about the resort that wasn't even on my radar was the wristband room key. Now being someone that's been known to occasionally misplace things while on vacation or, or lose them in the ocean. <laughs> yeah, that too. It was really nice having that room key attached to my body at all times. It was really nice to not have to worry about losing your room key. And it was one less thing that you had to think about to grab before you left the room for the day. Now that we touched on a couple of things we loved about the property, it's probably time to touch on one that we didn't. So let's get started with the app. Oh yeah, the app left a bit to be desired. Yeah, our main issue with the app was that we were supposed to be able to book dinner reservations through the app prior to arriving at the resort, but we were not able to do so. And we did email the resort before our arrival, requesting a couple of different dinner reservations, and we got a response basically saying that they may or may not be able to accommodate our request. When we arrived at the resort, we did find out that we had reservations for the second and fourth nights of our stay. But because the a la carte restaurants do book up fast, we were not able to get a reservation for that first night. Now, after we arrived at the resort, we were able to use the app to try and book restaurants. However, it kept pulling up different guests' names. So we ended up having to go to the lobby and using the kiosk to reserve our restaurants. So if you're there and having trouble with the app, we would recommend going straight to the lobby and using that kiosk. Fortunately, that was just one of a few things that we didn't love about the Ambar, but let's get back to a couple more of the things that we did. And for me, one of those things was the coffee shop. Oh yeah, the coffee shop was great, but the only complaint I have about it is that it didn't open up earlier. Yeah, it would have been nice if it would have opened before seven, so we could have had our morning coffees while watching sunrise. But I did love that it was open all day long and that we could always stop in for an afternoon pick-me-up. And those creamy cappuccinos and lattes were so good. They were, but I also love that they had frozen coffee drinks as well for those hot afternoons when you need to pick me up, but also need to cool down. 
very true, and a couple of other great things about the coffee shop were that the staff were super upbeat and friendly, and it was a really good place to get some work done on the computer, as their Wi-Fi was pretty good, and there were plenty of outlets available for charging. Another place that I really loved was the sports bar. Now, I'm not even that big of a sports fan, but I love to be able to have a place to go late at night to get a good dirty martini or some great chicken wings. And since the village was not open during our stay, the lobby bar and the sports bar were really the only late night options for drinks and entertainment. Yeah, and that ties in with one of the disappointments for me, and that was the village being closed and overall the lack of nightlife. Before we'd booked our trip to the Ambar, we had read several great reviews about the disco and the nightly outdoor events and themed parties that take place at the village. To be fair, we knew that there was a possibility that the village wouldn't be open during our stay as we had read some reviews that mentioned that the village had been closed due to COVID. Very true, but we weren't able to find anywhere on the Bahia Principe website that confirmed it was still closed. So we were still hoping that it would be open by the time we visited. But hopefully by the time you visit next, it will be. All right, let's get back to another of the many things that we enjoyed about the resort. And a big one for me was the specialty restaurants. Yeah, we had some amazing dinners at the specialty restaurants. And not only was the food amazing, but the drinks were too. I 100% agree with that. In fact, I maybe enjoyed the drinks at the specialty restaurants even more than the food. Yeah, I think you might have. Hey. <laughs> to be fair, we both enjoyed the specialty restaurant drinks as they were definitely a level above most of the other drinks on the resort, which we'll touch on later. But my favorite part of the specialty restaurants was the food. Yeah, the food at the specialty restaurants was awesome. I wasn't a huge fan of the desserts, but everything else was great. I definitely had some desserts I really enjoyed, like the chocolate brownie and the pina colada. So as you may already know if you watched our restaurant tour video, we ate at four of the special restaurants during our stay. We ate at the fine dining restaurant Limbo, the Indian restaurant Tali, the Dominican restaurant, which I think is also referred to as Arecife or just the Dominican restaurant, and Meat Steakhouse twice. And honestly, they were all great experiences. Yeah, we definitely didn't have a bad dinner. I was a little bit unsure about the Dominican restaurant, but I think that may have ended up actually being my favorite. What was yours? That's a tough question. So if I take into account the entire dining experience, I'd probably have to go with the Indian restaurant because I really love Indian food and the view from that place was spectacular. But if we're just going on the quality of food, I would probably have to go with limbo or meat. So basically they were all our favorites and they really did all have great views other than limbo. That actually leads to our next category, which is the views on the property. Yeah, whether you're at breakfast, lunch, dinner, just relaxing on the beach or at one of the beach bars, there were awesome views everywhere. Yeah, wherever you went on the Ambar, great views seem to follow you. Time for another thing we didn't like? Sure, go ahead. All right, well, we did touch on this in our how to spend a day video, but I was not a big fan of the loud music at the pool. And I don't know about you guys, but when I go to the pool, I usually go to relax. And unless you got to the pool early in the morning, there was usually some really loud dance music playing and more of a party vibe. You're making yourself sound really old. <laughs> I mean, I'm down for a good pool party every once in a while, and I even would have been fine with it if they would have played the loud dance music for just a few hours out of the day, but it would have been nice if they could have played some chill out music or some reggae for a portion of the day too. Yeah, the party music did get a little old after a couple of days, but if you're coming to the Ambar to party and you're not an old grump like Skylar, you may love it. <laughs> That's true. All right, let's get back to the positives. Another thing that I really liked was the room. It was big, clean, had a nice walk-in shower with really hot water, came with a bunch of toiletries, had plenty of storage, and a king-size bed with lots of pillows. And I really love the fact that it had super cold AC and a fully stocked mini fridge. Now, we never solved the mystery, though, of the missing beers in the mini fridge. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was the Dominican beer bandit. I'm pretty sure that's not a thing. <laughs> but that room was awesome. And what was even better was that I had that key bracelet attached to me at all times so I never got locked out. All right, Jamie, I think you're up for another thing that you didn't like. So what you got? 
All right, well, I guess I was a little bit disappointed with the gym situation. We had big plans, probably unrealistic, but we were planning to go to the gym every day in the afternoon, only to find out that it was closed from 11.30 to five daily during our stay. Yeah, and even when we came back during the hours when they actually were open, we were told that we had to make a reservation for the next day. Yeah, and we do understand that they have extra cleaning that they have to do and also capacity limitations due to COVID, but the gym was really nice when we finally did get to use it. Though it was still a bit disappointing that we couldn't use it during the afternoon hours. But honestly, this one probably isn't even an issue for most people because most people probably don't waste precious afternoon beach time at the gym when they're on vacation. Yeah, you're probably right. So since I don't want to end this video on a negative note and I have just one more thing about the property that I didn't like, I'm just going to get it out of the way now. All right, what is it? So the drinks at the beach bar and the pool bar were not the greatest. Well, I would say some of the drinks that we had at the beach and pool bars were good, but not all of them. Yeah, and it's definitely not because they are not strong enough. I did read some reviews online stating that the drinks were watered down, but that was not our experience. In fact, some of the drinks seemed to be nothing but alcohol. Yeah, my main issue is that the drinks were inconsistent. You could order a drink from one bartender and it would taste really good, and then order the same drink from another bartender that was not good at all. Not to mention that time you ordered juice and got champagne. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty ridiculous, but also kind of hilarious. Apparently that bartender knew I needed champagne instead of juice. And none of the bars seem to have real fruit juice, so if you order a fruity drink, you end up getting a drink with some super sweet fruit flavored syrup, and they were just way too sweet for my liking. And I typically have a sweet tooth, but many of the drinks were too sweet for me. But the good news is that you can get amazing fresh fruit drinks at the pineapple and coconut stand, which I think we touched on in both of our first two videos. Yeah, we definitely said this before, but those drinks were fresh and delicious and definitely worth the $5 upcharge. And also, if you're happy just drinking Presidente beers or non-fruity drinks during the day, then you might find the drinks to be just fine. And if you order a drink that you don't like, that's okay, because you can just order another one. We do want to mention, though, that some of these dislikes could be related to COVID. We realize that resorts could be having issues with staffing or getting certain supplies. So hopefully by the time you visit, these issues will no longer be a concern. But I'm pretty sure the music at the pool is still gonna be way too loud. All right, guys, we gotta wrap this thing up. But first, Jamie, is there any last thing that you loved or didn't love about the Ambar? Yeah, I think we have to mention Las Brisas. Oh yeah, we love Las Brisas and we made it no secret in our first three videos. Yeah, how could you not love it? They have great breakfast and lunch food, good coffee, Bloody Marys and mimosas, great sangrias, and above all, absolutely amazing views. Yeah, that view of the ocean while enjoying an amazing breakfast was probably what I looked forward to most each day. And if you want to see more of our dining experience, a tour of the property, or how to best spend a day on the resort, go ahead and click the link above us now to watch those videos. Thanks so much for everyone who's tuned into this series. If you do like our content and want to see more, you can go ahead and click on that subscribe button right now. Thanks for watching.